Hello darlings, today I have a new doll haul and I've been gone a while because life's been really difficult and I've had a lot of setbacks and I've had to move house so that's a big deal um, but I had some pretty good luck of dolls recently and that made me really happy and I decided it was time to return to YouTube um, I also have a few random dolls to include in this um, I didn't necessarily get them this time but they're recent and I thought I'd include them just to make the video a little bit longer because otherwise it will be kind of short right so let's so basically I go to visit my boyfriend once a week or sometimes twice and he has quite a few charity shops in the town that he lives in and I always go in them whenever I get the chance I don't often have a lot of luck but this time I walked in and I saw one doll. Well, I saw a bunch of brats, but there's one that caught my eye. So I'm just going to show you her. Because uh, she's the most important to me. Uh, she is pretty and punky, Yasmin. Now, her boot's fallen off, but it's down there. Um, I was very excited to have her. Because I already have her, but... This one has her original hairstyle, so I was very excited to have it with the original hairstyle because they're getting kind of rare, they're pretty and punk dolls. Um, and she has like some wintertime wonderland clothes, I believe. But wait till you see the next doll who, yeah, so the Yasmin I have only had her original pants, so both of these Yasmins were incomplete. Now, this next one, I mean, the pretty and punk, like, full outfit, like, now my Yasmin finally has an outfit. So these obviously all came from the same person. Um, I already have this Wintertime Wonderland Chloe, so I'm going to gather all the spare pieces that are in this bundle uh, and maybe sell her or something, because I don't need her. Um, next up is a doll that looks to be complete. I'm not 100% sure, but she definitely has her outfit. This is the party or birthday bash, birthday party, party whatever, um, Phoebe, I think. Uh, and yeah, by the looks of it, she's complete. She's so gorgeous. Once I've cleaned these up, I'll like maybe do a video on it, I don't know, I really want to return and I need to give myself reasons to make videos so that's like ideas I mean I want to do top 10s and stuff as well but for now I guess I'll do a makeover kind of video my dog's being noisy, sorry um, this is oh, I've forgotten the name, Funk Out Dana. I knew it was Dana from, and I knew the line, but then I forgot it when I bought her. I mean, I kind of bought them all, except for, there was the Bratz Boy, which I already have, and he, and um, the motorcycle as well, but they were selling them separately. Um, And there was no reason for me to get him when I already have him. Um, It's not like he had any pieces that I was missing. He had his complete outfit. So I left him behind and put him with the motorbike. So people kind of gathered that he went together. Um, various clothes. More pretty and punk pants. And treasures boots. Oh, the treasures boots are just gorgeous. Excuse my messy nails, by the way. We are going to pretend we didn't see that. Um, I love... Yeah, I love the chair. I don't know. I don't have any other pieces, so I don't know if I'm even going to keep her or not. Um, maybe I can gather them online. Because I do actually like her original outfit. I think it's really cool. And I like this doll. She's she's nice. She has her earrings. I think those are hers. And look, her glasses are still attached. I love that. I love when they have like some element of their original, you know, whatever. Final Bratz doll for this haul, before I show you a couple of random ones. I nearly cried, like, <laughs> I know that's dramatic, but I nearly cried. I was so excited to see uh, one of my Grail dolls, Treasures Chloe, and she has a skirt, 
And I think they're Dana's shoes. And then that's another pretty and bunk top, I believe. So I was so excited to finally have one of my dream dolls. And this is also one of my friend's favourite dolls. So I, I showed him and I was like, I was buzzing. I was like, oh my god, you never guess. Calm down, right. Um, I actually did go on online and buy bits of her clothes. And while I was there, I bought some um, of pretty and, pu pretty and Punk Jade's pieces. are quite expensive on eBay. But I managed to track them down um, in other places as well. I get some of them because I have Pretty and Punk Jade with none of her clothes. But I mean, I guess for now she could wear the spare pieces from these. Um, until that arrives because sometimes when you order online from other countries it can take ages. Now here's two random dolls. First off is this Midnight Magic doll. Sorry about this setup by the way. It's Yeah, I haven't got my desk set up. It's over there but I don't have a chair set up yet. I've only just finished moving in. Um, so this is temporary for this video. Um, this is a Midnight Magic doll. I actually bought this back in like October or something before I had to move. Um, if you look at the face, it's very um, wonky, you know what I mean? Like it's printed wrong. But I really like this doll line, they're so unique. Well, they're not because <laughs> they're a Monster High ripoff. But these ones with the glittery bodies are unique and it was, they had potential. Like, for how cheap they were in America, I think you could get them for, like, four or five dollars each in, in wherever they were found. But they're obviously, you can't get them here in the UK. And on eBay, I'd be spending, like, £30 for one new inbox, and I, I don't know if it's worth it for the low quality. I mean, the quality is fine for the price if you're buying them there at their original price. But spending all that to get them imported, you know, or get them sent over, whatever. Um, so... They have like a, a bend and snap mechanism, but I kind of feel like I'm going to... It's kind of cool that you can see the mechanism inside. And then they have articulated, you know, elbows and wrists. So, I bought her on AliExpress. Because I thought, at least I have one. She's going to need an outfit and a wig and hopefully... Um, you know... There's nothing I can do about the face now. I didn't realise till she arrived. But I'm happy to have one. She's She's special. I like her. And here's a random one from a charity shop. It's weird because sometimes you find new dolls in charity shops. Um, and I've seen these like in stores, like in shops when they originally came out. Um, it's called a Dolly Pops. And this is her. She's really cute. Like her face is kind of weird. It's she's kind of mean looking. Like she's like the mean girl in like a cartoon. Doesn't she look like a, a spoiled brat from a cartoon or something? Um, she's really pretty though. I really like her makeup. And I really like her dress. I'm a sucker for like candy themed things. Like, you know, Candylicious, Candylicious from LOL. Here's a picture of some of the other dolls. They did actually have a couple, but I only got her. I didn't really want any of the others. And she only cost a pound. Um, that's the company. Um, maybe I'll try and get more. I don't really know if I like any of them that much. Because I like some of the faces and hair. And not the clothes. And then other ones are like the clothes. I mean you could buy a bunch and then swap them over. I don't know. But I haven't looked at the body. It kind of looks... I was expecting brats. But it kind of just looks like a Barbie body. So I really don't know. Um, maybe I'll do a review if somebody wants to see that. For now I'm keeping it like this. Because, like, the lollipop packaging is really cute. Uh, so let me know if anybody actually wants to see me unbox this. Because I don't think I've seen anyone do it yet. So, I mean, the very obscure, like, cheap doll from, like, cheaper stars. So, I wouldn't expect anyone to care. But I think it's cool. And I might look out for more. Um, that was it. This was a very short video. Um... I'm set up back home, I've redecorated. I didn't want to have to move back here, but the situation called for it without going into details. I've been having a very difficult time. And uh, I am set up now, and I feel a little bit more comfortable and happy with my situation. 
which overall I'm not happy about. So to feel a little bit better is helpful. But I won't be here forever. But for while, while I am here, I need to find um, a good filming setup, especially if I'm going to be consistent or more consistent with my videos. So yeah, that was it. Um, I don't want to go on a big rant, so I'm going to end it here. Um, but yeah, tell me what you think of these dolls. Um, if you've found any dolls recently, um, what kind of videos you want to see, you know, all that stuff. Uh, give me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, share with your friends, whatever else. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.